Congratulations. Thanks, man. Uh, you said in the pre-fight interviews, you said you're a much better wrestler. Wrestling needs to be a big part. That was obviously evident tonight. You know, based on that performance, I, like, what do you what do you grade yourself? First off, um, I've been wanting to say this. Uh, my my Cowboys are playing better this week to the Big 12 Championship, and if, if we win, we're uh, we're going to the playoffs. So I'm rooting for my boys this weekend. And uh, uh, second, yeah, I'm answer your question. Uh, I wrestled a really long time. Uh, I put my heart and soul into that sport. Uh, I, I got to where you know I was the best kid in the country in high school, and then ended up accomplishing a couple things when I got to college. So I wrestled for a great college, and if you go look at the track record of where I train now, once we take you down, we'll just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. So um, I broke my hand, I think, in the second round, so it was hard for me to really. Uh, grab a little bit and, 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 and was able to, to land some some ground and pound. Um, I've been working a lot on that and I want to do more of that, but man, I, I, I fucked my hand up pretty good, so um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you uh, your hand gets much better and you'll be better next time. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go back to your, your one career loss. I know you, you wrestled, you obviously, you lost some times of wrestling, yeah. but a lot of times people improve after a loss, they learn stuff. Tell me what you learned from a loss. Well, I've never really said this, but I didn't lose that fight. He screamed at me when he won the fight. Um, he hit me maybe three or four times the whole fight. So I should be undefeated, right? And, I, and I'm doing it with just one base. So, you know, the, the, the sky's the limit for me, man. I got great coaches, great teammates, and uh, I wouldn't say I learned anything from the loss. I just, to me, it's... It's, uh, I'm just continuing to try to grow and, and get better at this stuff and, and, and eventually compete for the world championship and you know, make, make a couple dollars and, you know, right off into the sunset. And obviously, I think that showed tonight that you're improving. You just beat a ranked opponent. I know you said you don't care about rankings, but you, know, you talked about your teammates, Daniel Cormier, Habib. They've had big moments where they called out for a big shot. Like, when are you going to have that moment where you're going to call out a name? Well, I'll call out someone. Um, it, 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 if they put me in the top ten, which I think I deserve that now, um, I'd like to fight Logan Storley. Uh, we wrestled in college a couple times, and you know everybody keeps wanting to see me not wrestle, and I, and I don't see there being a lot of wrestling in that fight. And if there was, he knows the drill too on that. So um, I respect Logan. There is no beef. There is no animosity. This is a business, and. I love seeing wrestlers do their thing and do well, you know, and we just kind of had a Twitter exchange about, you know, OSU wrestling in Minnesota, so, I mean, there's no animosity there, I just, you know, he's above me in, in the rank he's now, to be number 10, so why not go and try to fight this guy and, and just see who the better wrestler is. Uh, my very last question, you keep pumping up Oklahoma State, Randy Couture, yeah. Dan Cormier, Johnny Hendricks, Mo Lawal, the list goes on and on. Like, what is it about Oklahoma State? I mean, Penn State don't put out these type of MMA fighters, and Iowa don't put these. What? what? Man, don't get me going. I want to uh, get you going. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, Iowa, they, all, they, they just, they're not about it like that. Okay, so I'll go there. Penn State, man, I, I had a buddy, I have a buddy named Ed Ruth, and I uh, don't know really what he's doing. I haven't really talked to him in a while, but. I think, you know, he was he was a good fighter, so. Oklahoma State, man, we're just tough. We're just tough guys, you know. Uh, um, yeah, we're old school still, you know. Our, our head coach doesn't do anything really new. He doesn't really uh, baby us in any way. And, you know, and, and when you're wrestling at that university, you're constantly competing for your own spot on your own team. You know, your backups are, are just as good, so. I don't know, man, we're just tough fuckers. You know, I had Steve Mako in, uh, in there before the fight. Um, he's a wrestling coach at the American Top Team, and if you would have watched him wrestle in college, I mean, he was a beast. So it kind of gave me some motivation in there. And, uh, so yeah, man, it was just different. I don't know, you know. I think the proof's just—it's just in the pudding now. And you see a bunch of us still doing our thing, and, and we'll continue to do that. Okay.
Hey, Kyle, great performance as usual. You, you dominated all three rounds. Listen, you know, 2021 is coming to a year. You said, you know, you want to spend the year off, get a, get the win on the column, and then go spend some time with the family, right? So now that, you know, you've finished everything, what's on the uh, wish list for 2022? You know, you beat, you started to climb up the ladder for the division. You beat your first ranked opponent. What's next? You know, Andre Karshkov just came back. You know, he's a very, uh, like, you know, a, opponent with great history in Belter. Do you possibly see a fight with him next? Man, I, I was telling you a while ago, uh, I haven't seen my, my baby girl in, in, in four weeks. Um, Santa's coming to town, baby, and this is my, my, real first, uh, my real first Christmas with her as far as her kind of knowing what's happening in a way. So, man, I'm going to go home. I'm not even going to think about fighting for the next couple weeks. Actually, my buddy Nick Piccinini is a teammate of mine, Russell Oklahoma State. He's, he's fighting the second fight next week, so I'll be there to corner that. But realistically, man, I have to go home. I got paid pretty good, but most of it have been paid. And, uh, I'm about to go buy some Christmas gifts. Like I said, man, Santa's coming, baby, so I'm excited. Hey Kyle, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, my question for you is, during the fight, it looked like you had been put into numerous submission attempts, inverted triangles, triangles, arm bars. Were those at all tight at all, or it's this case of uh, just two? The second one, uh, second or third one. I mean, I was, I was, I started like getting fuzzy. Um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna quit in there. I'm, I'll never quit in there, man. I just. You know, I do this for not just myself, my family, and uh, I, I'm trying to be a leader at AK now that we, we don't really, you know, all of our, our, our accomplished guys have kind of left. You know, they're still around to help, but I'm trying to be that next guy, man, and, and it's going to take you to actually put me to sleep. I'm not going to tap in there, so um, there, was, there was one, it was a little weird, I never really felt that it was so long, and it got tight and quick, and uh, I even told him. After the fight, I was like, God damn, there was one you had me in, man, and I was, I was pretty close. So, uh, like I said, man, I'm not going nowhere. If I'll have to wake up before, before I, I, I leave that uh, cage. All right, Kyle, we're going to do a couple on the Zoom here. Jay, go ahead. Hey, thanks very much. Kyle, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, you kind of touched on it there, but Oliver had actually talked about the inverted triangle and said he believed he could finish fights from almost any position on the on the mat. So how surprised were you at that, or did you get enough of a look at him beforehand to kind of expect it? Um, man, I, I was actually, the, the one that he, he got, he went Kimura, Kimura. I, I, I floated too much. I thought I could get over the top of him. Um, yeah, I mean, it was long, so his fucking legs were long. So once he kind of kicked it abo above me, I, I, I kind of thought I had a little room to get out, and it got sensed real quick, and it was uh, it was actually very tight. Like, uh, I was, I, that was, might be the first time in, in my uh, my life, even in training, where I thought maybe there was a possibility I was about to go to sleep. So I'll give him credit, man. I don't, I'll never knock someone. Um, it was tight. You persevered tonight, and uh, you know you called your your shot, so to speak, against Logan. But what about a time frame? Are you looking to get back there fairly soon after the holidays? You want some time off? Uh, yeah, I mean, I hurt my hand. I don't know. I don't know really what's wrong with it, but um, that'll probably take me a couple of weeks. Hopefully, not months, but um, maybe April, next April. We'll see. I, I, I still want to get better, man. I, that's not. I mean, I'm fighting ranked guys. The last. It's three guys record is 18 and four um, and I, I'm, I'm not even on my 10th fight yet so I just need to keep getting better man I, like I said I have great coaches uh, great teammates and you know I just want to get back and learn some things and get better in some areas and then uh, you know we'll, we'll be in talks with Bellator we'll see what happens with what they do with the rankings and you know we'll go from there all right Kyle that's the last one man thanks for the time yeah recording stuff